Autodesk 3 DS Max 2026 has arrived, promising workflow optimizations, performance boosts, and long-awaited fixes. But does it deliver meaningful innovation, or is it another incremental update in a subscription-driven cycle? Let's dissect the key features, analyze their impact, and address the elephant in the room. Is this worth the price hike? Number one, OpenPBR, a new material standard. What's new? OpenPBR replaces the legacy physical material as the default shader, aiming to unify workflows across tools like Maya, Substance, and Unreal Engine. Developed with Adobe, it supports MaterialX and OpenUSD for interoperability, reducing compatibility headaches in multi-software pipelines. Pros. Artists gain a consistent, physically accurate material system with intuitive controls. The Scene Converter tool simplifies migrating legacy materials to OpenPBR. Cons. OpenPBR debuted in 2025.3. This is merely a default swap. Studios invested in Arnold or Vire may see limited immediate benefits. 2. Modeling and Workflow Incremental Wins Key Updates Vertex Weld Modifier for Splines Now supports welding open vertices and splines, e.g. fixing imported vector art or fonts while retaining procedural editing. 3. Point Rectangle Splines Create angle rectangles without access constraints ideal for non-orthogonal designs. Preserve stack position, a small but brilliant tweak. The modifier stack remembers your last selected modifier when switching objects. These are quality of life fixes, not groundbreaking tools. While helpful, they highlight Autodesk's focus on refining legacy systems rather than reinventing workflows. Number three, performance, measurable gains, but mind the fine print. Claimed improvements. Boolean modifier, 40% faster with carve algorithm. Array modifier, 15% speed boost. Fluid simulations, 10% faster processing. While these numbers sound impressive, real world gains depend on scene complexity. Smaller studios may notice improvements, but heavy users of modifiers like conform or displace, 2.28 times faster could see tangible benefits. Number four, animation and rigging. Stability over innovation. Updates include cat and biped fixes, motion layer stability, BIP file name matching and crash fixes, viewport multi-threading, smoother playback and navigation. These are overdue fixes, not innovations. Biped and cat remain niche tools compared to modern rigging systems. Autodesk seems to prioritize maintenance over modernization here. Number five, rendering and pipeline. Arnold and USD take center stage. Arnold 7.4 highlights. Transmission shadows. Realistic glass shadows via transmission underscore shadow underscore density. Crypto mat GPU support. Faster ID mattis with lower memory use. Material X integration. Deeper open PBR compatibility for cross-render consistency. USD enhancements. Layer editor and light linking. Better scene organization and light object interactions. Arnold's updates are solid, but the compatibility breaking changes requiring recompiled plugins may frustrate Studios 13. USD adoption is still trailing behind Maya's implementation. Number six, read apology cloud-powered but limited flow read apology submit 50 cloud jobs slash month for parallel processing local read apology tools version 1.6 faster reform algorithm cloud read apology is a step forward but the 50 job cap feels restrictive for large studios smaller teams might appreciate the resource offload though seven pricing and community backlash cost increases Subscriptions, now, 235 slash monthly. User sentiment. Comments on CG Press 13 reveal frustration. Creating rectangles as a headline feature? Really, others praise performance tweaks, but question the value proposition. Verdict, incremental progress at a premium. The good, open PBR standardization, modifier optimizations, and Arnold update strengthen 3DS Max's core. The bad. 
few revolutionary features. Reliance on cloud read apology feels half-baked. The ugly price hikes amid modest updates risk alienating users already eyeing alternatives like Blender or Unreal. Final thoughts. 3 DS Max 2026 is a safe, iterative update. It's worth upgrading for studios entrenched in Autodesk's ecosystem. But indie artists and newcomers should weigh costs against tangible benefits.